video, I love to make chili. If I use grass-fed beef or organic turkey, organic tomatoes and sauce with no added sugar, and chili powder, am I okay from a health perspective or am I kidding myself? Well, you are uh, truly a good example of a lion's share client because you have hit all the important points except one. I'm going to tell you, your recipe is good, and chili is a really great thing to eat in the cooler weather. I love making chilies myself, and I'll post a few recipes for you below. So you hit on a few important things. One, good quality meat if you're going to use meat. Uh, so the grass-fed beef is great. Organic turkey, organic chicken, something like that is important. Um, two, tomatoes with no added sugar. Any kind of tomato products are really um, bad, or I don't like to use the word bad. So are strong culprits for added sugar, added salt, things like that. And if you're going to go one step further, if you're getting canned tomato products, I prefer you to get a BPA-free can because acidic foods like tomatoes tend to leach that BPA um, from the can, and that's not very good for you. It can interfere with hormones and things like that. BPA, if you're not familiar with that, is the stuff that, like water bottles like this, for example, will say BPA-free. Um, it's in a lot of plastic bottles and cans as well. So good quality meat, organic, no sugar added, BPA-free tomatoes, um, and chili powder you mentioned, totally great. Use all the chili powder you want. So everything's good so far. The one thing you missed is we've got to add veggies in there. Here's why. Chili is comforting and warm and delicious and dense. All those foods in there are calorie dense and also nutrient dense too, which is good. Um, but it would be very easy for me to sit down and eat three servings of meat in a big bowl of chili if there wasn't if there weren't vegetables in there. And there's too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> um, so we want to be able to increase the portion size and give more nutrients in there by adding vegetables. That will reduce the portion sizes of the other stuff and still allow you to feel full and satisfied. Um, so, good veggies for chili. Zucchini is great. Squash, bell peppers, kale even. I know it doesn't sound like a chili-friendly food, but you can... Uh, oh, she's watching right now. This is so cute. She said, I knew you would say that. More than just onions, I would guess. Yes, more than just onions, although onions are a great addition. Onions and garlic um, are fantastic uh, in antioxidants, really good at fighting off um, colds and sicknesses and chronic disease as well. So yes, add in your onions and, and garlic, and also zucchini, um, peppers, kale, even spinach at the end of cooking, something like that. If you do all those good things, thumbs up, you're good to go on your chili.